Hello everyone, DragonMax here, and I'm here to basically show more of my uh, JoJo character that I've made for an RPG. It's just going to be a continuation of what I've been doing, and well, consider this part 2. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Glow in the Dark 3. Close Range Sand has the ability to basically create portals or distort space, as well as no those distortions. In other words, if someone teleports away, you'll know it happens. Lone and Dark Fae's form is supposed to look more JoJo-like, or more like a punching ghost. It also has more abstract or alien-like features, such as the weird orbs, or I guess more, as, it, as I said, abstract. It's basically a form that's, form that's far stronger, as well as having a new pose to actually a new post for Josh to essentially say like, oh, he's actually ready to really fight or just, you know, just a slight uh, cleanup, I guess. But also, GD3's new form has to, includes a, well, a new stand cry. It never had one before, but now it has. As you think, it may be like, oh, Jojo is most likely, or oh, oh, but instead, it's Nova Nova. So it goes like this. Nova 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 Nova. Essentially, we're tying the nod to space. Oh yeah, uh, Glow in the Dark 3 has also a pocket dimension. The pocket dimension in it actually has expanded to a, a galaxy. A, basically a small one, but a galaxy nonetheless. There's also another thing I must say that this also is the point where Josh reveals his other name, revealing he's a Jojo essentially. Basically, his name of Journey is in reference of basically being a. Uh, how do I explain it? It's basically like a sort of omen or a way of foresight. In other words, Josh's journey is filled with strife. In other words, it's essentially a thing that his family had, or, well, 16 of them. Yes, his family only is 16. Not num not the age, but the number of individuals. The reason why is because apparently he has two mothers, four mothers, who are, who actually love each other, and despite being at a bad point in time, I'm around the, well, I guess, steampunk era? I guess uh, nine, the 1890s? I'm not sure exactly, but basically, uh, yeah. He's very protective of them. Very, very protective. So, yeah. Don't mess with the house. Otherwise, you might have to face the guard dog. Glow in the Dark 4. Glow in the Dark 4 is essentially a wearable stand. Yes, so uh, clothing. The reason why this is going this way is a bit of a nod to the DM, who's a fan of Kamen Rider. I decided to basically pay a little bit of an homage to that by actually having them literally say Henshin when they actually transform or equip their stand. The stand's park dimension is now developed into a full blown universe, but not an entire one, like a small universe. Or rather, a large nebula, if you will. Their ability is pretty unique that they can, well, not only act like a sand, thanks to a wearable type, but also they can actually allow them to add or subtract things via a word. In other words, if they say gravity, they could even make gravity heavier or lighter. Or if they say the word if, uh, the body, they could literally make the body tougher or essentially make it more invisible, intangible, if you will. Basically, it's pretty capable of using that ability. The scarves it has also act as extra appendages, or I guess needles or spikes, if you will. It also has a second ability that can actually fire stars, which can reverse someone's ability. And it was, it can actually cause someone and like the ability to essentially put plagues on someone to heal them or put medicine. Or someone focusing on luck and gambling could actually focus on something that is destined to happen. Or something that is assured to happen. 
Uh, either way, this is part of a bad thing or a bad arc for Josh. You'll see in a minute. Josh, uh, to put it simply, had a mental breakdown. It also, which led into a villain arc. A small one, but it was a villain arc nonetheless. Essentially, Walt, his brother, basically hated him, despised him because he always saw Josh as a better version of him. Or basically saw him as better, at least, to his parents. And he hated that and wanted to get revenge. So, essentially, he tried to assassinate him. Josh didn't know, and actually, soon enough, went into a mental breakdown because... He was never mentally sound. Essentially, the war that he was in, or multiple wars, basically became more of a bloodbath. Mind you, these wars were small, but they were still impactful, causing him to essentially develop a sort of idea of protecting his family to basically just keep him safe, as well as keep his mind sound. So, yeah... He decided to basically become a monster to basically try to have Walt beat him and have his family appreciate him. It was a stupid idea because, you know, he was insane, but yeah. The idea of his design is supposed to look like a war veteran, keeping some of the elements he once had, but also adding JoJo elements. Or more specifically, the elements of a JoJo uh, protagonist, such as the star motif. But. Well, albeit yes, he doesn't have, I don't think he would have the star symbol, he still had that star medal before and now has it in the goggles. Sadly, the red design is also a nod to his villain arc. I also made one that looks more mysterious, or basically looks like you don't know who it's supposed to be. He's literally wearing a whole new outfit. Albeit, the players did find out pretty easily to the fact that yeah, they sort of saw me playing at the character. So, it didn't work, but still. Soon enough, Josh actually had a, their mental breakdown end, essentially. And actually just, like, became slightly different. They've actually become less, like, focused on saving the family. It's more like trying to end a war through peace. In other words, they now no longer have the will to truly, like, kill, but rather the will to truly end a fight. And, well, we'll get to that soon enough. Three more drawings down. And, uh, anyway, I hope you liked the drawings I was doing. Anyway, hope you liked the video, like and subscribe, and hope you have a good day. Dragon Mask out.